we are factoring today and you should be so excited. I'm sure you are. I'm going to go really fast in this video. If you need more detail or more examples, I'm going to link a video right over there. Also, this is not the only way to factor the way that I'm going to show you right now. If you need a different way or if this way doesn't work, um, again, got some more linked over there. Okay, other thing. If you have a number out here that you can't factor out um, in front of here and you need to factor that, it's a little bit different. Again, guess what? We got a video linked. You are so welcome. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, first of all, what are we doing? We have been doing this, probably you have, where you multiply these two, uh, making sure everything multiplies, combine like terms, and you get an answer, right? We are just doing the opposite. So now we are going from here to here, but we're doing a different problem. All right, so we want to know the two parentheses that will be multiplying together to give me this, okay? So in the end, we hope to have two parentheses multiplied by each other. The very first thing you need to do is always get in the habit of factoring out a GCF. What is that greatest common factor? So that just means if you look at this, I notice they're all even, so I can pull out a two, okay? You always wanna pull out anything first that can be pulled out because it makes it much easier to factor, okay? So this one, there's no GCF, there's nothing I can pull out. So I just need to figure out what these two parentheses are, okay? How do I do that? Well, you're gonna take this number, the number being added on the back, okay? Or subtracted, whatever it may be. Um, you take this number and you multiply it by the number in front of the x squared. In this case, there's an imaginary one there, right? We just usually don't write it because we don't have to. So we've got 20 times one, which just gives me 20, right? So you might think, why did we need to multiply it by that? Well, in other problems, you may have a number out there. So just keep that in mind. It is this multiplied by that. So we've got 20, okay? Now, this is kind of the fun part. It's kind of like a puzzle. We need to find two numbers that multiply to 20 and add to negative nine. Where'd that negative nine come from? This number right in the middle, okay? So we need a number that multiplies to 20, adds to negative nine. So I'm gonna start by just listing the factors of 20. So we've got one times 20, two times 10, three doesn't go in, four times five, and that is all of them. Okay, so those are all the numbers that multiply to 20. Now we need them to add to negative nine. So one plus 20 is 21, no. Two plus 10 is 12, no. Four plus five is nine, ooh, but I need it to be a negative nine. Well, isn't negative four times negative five also 20? Yes. And negative four plus negative five gives me negative nine. So those are my two numbers. So now I'm gonna have x minus four times x minus five. And that is the answer. You can always, always, always check yourself by just multiplying it back out and making sure that that is your answer. But that is it. You're done. All right. Hopefully you can get your homework done. Go to bed and have dreams of math that are nightmares.